Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So, if you guys have been following me, um, you may ha have remembered a video I did just not long ago of an opening of some mystery grab bags from Hobby Yarns. And they, I opened the ones that I had, and then there was another one that had sh shipped separate. And I said that I wasn't going to open it on camera, but lots and lots of people wanted me to open it. Um, because they were my you know interested in buying it and they wanted to see what was in it first so I will it did come today it's right here so if you have not seen that video yet of the other grab bags that they have I'll put a link right here on the screen right now and I'll also put it below in the comment section so you can check it out and see what was in the other mystery bags now this one um, is their mystery sock yarn bag now hobby if you're not familiar with them it's h-o-b-b-i-i -I. They're based in Denmark. They are not Hobium. Hobium is, is the one that went out of business. They're from Turkey. This is Hobby from Denmark. Very nice company. I buy from I bought from them many, 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 many times. I've never ever had a problem. They have really, really nice yarns. Cheap shipping. Um, sales all the time. I can never complain about their company. Ever. Not couldn't say anything bad about them ever. So anyways, let's get right to it. Oh, I do have a tutorial for this hat. I actually just put this tutorial on, but YouTube did not notify anybody. So if you're interested, it is tutorial 656. Isn't it cool? So you can look that up. I just put it on, so in case you're interested in that. Okay, so this is the mystery grab bags. Now, if you see any other video, I showed all the yarns that came in them. This is their sock yarn grab bag it's a kilogram of sock yarn one kilogram so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and we're gonna see what's inside pretty interested now sock yarn does not just have to be for socks i have a lot of people ask me that i'm not a big fan at making socks because i'll tell you why i don't like to have to make things that I have to make two of. Now I do do it now, of course. I've made socks, but I hate making socks. I really am not good at the heel part either, but because I have to make two, I'm really not a big fan of making wristers because I have to make two. I hate making two sleeves on a sweater. I don't know why, but anyways, I do have socks on my channel. But anyways, you don't have to use sock yarn for just socks. You can use it for anything that you want. Just because it says, just like baby yarn. Some people ask me, you know, do I have to use baby yarn just for baby stuff? Absolutely not. You can use any type of yarn for whatever you want to use it for. That's what I say. So this is a kilogram of sock yarn. I'm pretty excited to see it because on their website, they have some really, really pretty uh, uh, sock yarn. This is sock yarn. I'm going to take a drink of coffee. So I get nice and caffeinated for you guys, right? Someone gave me this cup from Canada. Eat, drink, and be happy from my Canadian friends. Thanks for that cup. All right. Let's see what we got. Antarctica. 75% wool, 25% polymide. Antarctica yarn. Yarn of the world. That is a pretty color. And, of course, most sock yarn, most, has wool in it. I absolutely love wool. And this is 75% wool. So let's go over it here. Um, it's machine wash uh, dryable. It says it's a super fine number one. I would say it's more like a sport weight number two. But nonetheless, it's a thinner yarn. You can see that. Um, 100 grams, 420 meters is 459 yards. That's a generous amount. Made in Turkey. I like it. Feels like sock yarn. Sock yarn. Oh, it smells like sock yarn. This is the wool in it. I love wool so much. It smells like wool. That's a beautiful, beautiful color. The color uh, number, it just says color number five. Now, this is Antarctica yarn. That's really pretty, really pretty blues. Now, I know my friend, um, Alinda, if she's watching, she knows. I'm sure she's watching. She loves her blues. I bet she really liked this sock yarn. You let me know in the comments, Linda, if you're, if you're watching. You know who I'm talking about. I met Linda at one of my crochet retreats. She's a very nice lady. So, I got two of those. Very pretty. 
that's nice it's quite a bit of yardage but it is a thin yarn but i do say it's it's thicker than a one i would think it's more like a two see you know this together that would make such a pretty cowl see i see this and even though it's sock yarn i don't think of socks because socks is not something like i said i enjoy really making that much so when i get sock yarn i think of other things beautiful cowl beautiful lightweight uh scarf shawl anything like that that is that's very pretty Let's see what else we got we got some more of that i like it so it's the same thing very pretty it's not itchy even though it's 75 percent wool some people think wool is like extremely itchy now some of it is but this one is not this is collar weight number three very pretty i like that i wonder i'm gonna work with some of this and see how the colors turn out so i got two of those that color oh this one's my favorite of these and that one is beautiful. Color number four. I like this one the best out of all of them that I got. Of these three brands anyways. That is so beautiful. It's got blues and grays and dark grays in it. That's a very pretty yarn. Now, like I said, I won't make socks out of this because socks aren't that cool for me to make. I'm not, I, have to, I, I really don't like making them. Um but i might work with this a little bit later this one right here and may see if i can make up a pretty cowl or something like that that is so pretty that is gorgeous it reminds me of like i don't know waters or something i don't know that's pretty so yes that's my favorite of those three of that brand i got more in here though and then i got these are happy feet i have Happy Feet XL. I've actually purchased this before. So it feels a similar, but it is a thicker. Um, it's 50 grams, 106 meters. Um, designed in Scandinavia, made with love in Asia. Machine wash, do not dry. Color number 510. Happy Feet XL. So the weight, it's 75% superwash wool, 25% nylon. I think it's probably a light four weight yarn. I like it, it's pretty. Again, I won't make socks out of it, but I'll do something with it. It's a pretty blue. And then I have two more of that, another blue. Got lots of blues in this bag. <laughs> That's okay though. I like blue, I like all colors though. This is the same. As you can tell, it's a, it's a four weight yarn. It's not really a thin, normal sock weight. Um, the collar number on this one is 509. Very nice. This is a short video because there's not much, this is not much in this bag. And then this one is, I had this brand last time in a different, not sock yarn, but I, I'm not gonna try to butcher it, but. Scandinavia, you Scandinavia, you I don't know sock yarn 75% super wash 25% polyamide 420 meters um now this is definitely a little thinner than the other ones now this is probably about a one weight um wow it's pretty it's a pretty purple color number 3940 machine wash do not dry I don't see where it was made. Sorry, I like to, people ask me to say that, but sometimes it just doesn't say. So yeah, this is definitely the thinnest of all of them that I have. So yeah, it's, it is like a one. And I have two of those in there. It's a generous amount of yarn, but you do have to remember it is a thin weight yarn. I like it. It's very pretty, and again, I don't see socks when I look at this. I see a pretty shawl with that. Nice, lightweight, lacy stitch. Nice and drapey. It's beautiful. It's beautiful yarn. It's a very pretty purple. 
So I got two of those. So that's what was in my mystery sock yarn pack for everybody that wanted to know. And I believe it was $29.99. And they had other, they were, actually they were called Lucky Bags. They had other Lucky Bags. They had acrylic ones, wool ones. Um, I opened them up on the other video if you're interested. They just accidentally, they, they just shipped my order separate. They split it into two. And so one came a little bit later. And now, now I'm opening it up. I'm happy with what I got. I got 12 skeins of yarn, but it's some very gorgeous yarn, and it, um, you know the shark sock yarn is super wash wool, super wash wool. Most most of it is, uh, you know, 75%. So it's not going to be a cheaper yarn, but still very pretty. This is my favorite one. I think I'm going to make something with this one. Yes, yes I am. Maybe I'll whip something up here shortly. You guys, you guys be looking for something made with this on my channel. More than likely, it's going to be a cowl or some type of a scarf. But I know whatever it is, it's going to turn out pretty. I love the, the color of that one. So that's it on my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember um, to check out the other one where I opened their other lucky bags, the acrylic and the cotton and the wool. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description box also up on the screen. But that's what was in my sock yarn. A lot of people were interested. I'm happy with it. I think that I think it was worth it. They averaged out to be what I get: two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and I pay thirty dollars less than three dollars skein. That's that's good for. I think this you know this is some <laughs> this is some nice yarn. I bet if I looked it up on their site, it's probably more than that. I don't know though. I could be wrong. I haven't looked on their site for a little bit, so. But anyways, now I'm just blabbing because I was been drinking coffee. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go because I just wanted to show everybody that wanted to know what was in the hobby mystery kilogram sock yarn lucky bag. So this is what was in mine. Now, if you guys order these, um, uh, you know, and and they're different, I have a Facebook page set up for yarn to show show off your yarn hauls. You can show me on there. I'll put there's a link below in the description box. I'd be interested in seeing what you got. Um, in yours. So, um, thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to check out that other video. Look there on the, I don't know if my camera's recording backwards, somewhere on the screen down here. I'll put a video or a link to that video of the other lucky bag openings. Bye everybody.